I just finished filming my wrap up and I thought I would jump on and record a little bit of a vlog as well. Finally did one of these. Ah, so happy that I finally did that actually. My last wrap up was like a year ago. I was always planning on making more of them, but then I had like some family stuff happen. So just never did. Stressed and overwhelmed, but yeah. I've been thinking about how to bring them back um, for a while because, you know, it's, it's been so long. I obviously did a challenge in that one as well. And I felt bad because I hadn't posted the pictures from that challenge, it was like a year ago. But I asked on Instagram and the overwhelming majority of people <laughs> voted that just, just do it, just post it, just do it now. And that you do wanna have more challenges and see more challenges. So there is another challenge. I finally posted the pictures from that one and there is another challenge happening for this summer. Check out the wrap up video if you haven't already. I'm quite excited for the challenge and have a tutorial bracelet. I'm gonna kind of fit into that category coming up soon, so hey. <laughs> I reorganized my room a little bit, which you might be able to tell. I have different books on my shelf, which you may or may not notice, probably not. But the main thing is that my book is now also on my shelf, which I've been meaning to do for a while, but then I kept forgetting. And then I also put um, some art up on my walls. I'll show you later as well, there's some more art on this side. But yeah, that, I bought those art pieces months ago. It's the story of my life. I like do things halfway and then I forget to continue them. <laughs> or I get overwhelmed and stressed and then I just don't continue them. So I finally put these up though. And I uh, quite like them. This is like my reading corner. So I've got my chair, the little art piece, and uh, I think it's quite cute. So yeah, I went on a lovely trip. Um, we went to Georgia for two weeks the country, uh, Georgia, which is next to Armenia, next to Turkey, in that kind of general area. I'm actually from Georgia as well, and I'm also from Armenia. And we went with my granddad, which was really exciting. My granddad grew up and lived in Georgia until he was 26. I just turned 26, so thinking about how he spent all of my life, like all of the life that I have lived currently, he spent in that country and then left, and then he lived in Russia for a few years. Well, not a few, 26 as well. And now he lives in Florida. Um, he lives in the US. He's been living there for 13 years now. So it's been a while <laughs> since uh, he lived in Georgia and he really hasn't gone back. We have some family there and we have, obviously he has a lot of friends there. So I managed to convince him when I was in Florida last year, visiting him, to actually go on this trip with me and go to Georgia and see all the people and see all the places. And I was really happy that he agreed because by the point where I asked him, he hadn't left the US in seven years, he hadn't left the country and he thought that he was too old and that he wouldn't be able to and you know, all of these different reasons. And so I managed to convince him and he did it and he was the happiest I had ever seen him. It was so good to see him interacting with everyone and to see how happy he was and just to, to also just experience the city through his eyes. And he showed me all the places where he used to live and all the places that he used to go to school and where he used to hang out with friends and all of that. So it was really fantastic. And then also um, some other family came in uh, to see him and flew in from all sorts of places. We had like a kind of family reunion. Um, it was just generally a really nice trip. That happened for two weeks. And then uh, he came and stayed with me for two weeks as well. It was his first time in London. We did so much sightseeing and so many fun things. I got to show him where I grew up and all the places where I went to school and all of that. So it's just been a nice month. I spent like a month with my granddad, which usually I only get to spend a few days out of the year with him. And in fact, there's been many years consecutively where I hadn't seen him at all. So it was just really nice. I dropped him off at the airport this morning. It was actually really sad because we spent a month together. We kind of, we, we got used to each other. And so now it's just, it's just a bit sad. But yeah, I have another trip coming up in three weeks. I'm doing a bit of a rail trip across Europe. It's gonna be really fun. Uh, I've been meaning to do one of those for years and I finally got around to actually planning and doing it. So that's happening. So because of that, I need to pre-film a bunch of videos. I actually have already planned out. There's gonna be three tutorials and three not with me's. Um, some of them I already have strings for. I think I just need to search through that mess of a box to find them. But yeah, I thought we could do this vlog together and bracelets for tutorials and for not with me videos. I also very much desperately need to get my nails done. I don't think my nails have ever grown out this much. And especially on this hand, like I, Oh, you actually can't tell. But on this hand, I've actually like peeled and chipped off pieces because I get nervous and then I just do that. It's so annoying when they're this long. I can't do anything with them. Gah. So I have an appointment to get them done in two days. I'm going to a friend's house tomorrow for our joint birthday party. It was my birthday and it's gonna be her birthday in a few weeks. We're doing kind of a joint birthday thing where we're all gonna get drunk and have fun. <laughs> so that's uh, tomorrow and then the day afterwards, I'm gonna go get my nails done and then film. So yeah. I'll see you in a bit. I don't know how this keeps getting so messy. This is like the fifth vlog that I'm clearing this out in. <laughs> I don't know. I get very lazy with putting strings away, so I just kind of dump them in here. 
This isn't a very big box. It's not really meant for holding so many strings, but that's what I do to it. I'm not planning on clearing this entire thing out because I'm lazy and I don't want to do that, but I do want to go through and pick colors from this pile, mainly because I don't want to get new colors out. And also I just want to actually use the strings that I keep using. And I'm pretty sure some of the bracelets that I want to make, I've already cut strings for. <laughs> Uh, this is a mess. I forgot this one was in here. I filmed a tutorial for this forever ago and then I never edited and never posted it. Should probably do that. <laughs> Could put that away. Randomly a bunch of old bracelets. I think I was using these for props um, during some videos talking about something. I guess maybe mistakes I used to make or something. I need to put that back in my collection box. Same for this. This is a random unfinished one from forever ago. I also do not remember the pattern for it. <laughs> Oh, these ones I'm actually really annoyed I never finished because I actually did want to finish these. All three of these. Why did I never finish them? I don't know. I'll leave these on the side. Anything else in here? Hello. Oh, there is actually. <laughs> okay, I think the rest is just string. Whew. So what is it that I actually want to do? So there's four patterns I'm thinking about. These ones I want to make as tutorials. These ones I want to make as not with me's. This one is the one for the challenge. I might actually rearrange these. Like these are not the actual dates. These are probably gonna get posted on. But this one is gonna be for the challenge, which is the summer challenge. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's in the wrap up. But I'm also doing a Patreon only challenge um, with my patrons on the Discord server for that. And I chose this bracelet and this bracelet for that. I think that could be quite cute. It's a good selection of bracelets. Now to actually get them up and choose the colors for all of these. I'm trying to like be efficient by choosing the colors and cutting all the strings before I get my nails done so that when I get my nails done, I can just like come home and film the videos. <laughs> I want to post a quick Instagram story as well, just to share what I'm doing. My nails make a very satisfying tapping sound when I type because they're so long. Posted. I could have sworn I already cut the strings for this. It might be these. So for the alpha that with crystals, I'm gonna need 14 base strings and I'm fairly confident that I already cut the strings for it and these are the strings. So let's count these out. Okay, so it must not have been, it must have been for a different pattern and I actually have an idea which pattern it was because it has 16 strings, but that is more than 14, so I can use these strings. <laughs> which is very good and I need to cut these. Let me count this again. I swear counting counting base strings for alphas is the most important step in making alpha bracelets. I say that every time because I mean it. It is important. Please count your strings. Well, that's one bracelet sorted. I do still need to pick the colors out for it, but we can still do that. Kind of a pink, two shades of pink. Every time I look at shades of different color, I think, are these different enough? And I don't think they are in this case. It might have to be something like this instead. That's very dramatically different now. <laughs> It might be good, or maybe it should be these. I quite like that it's more relaxed in the original. I don't know how to describe it, but it's more relaxed, chill color. It's not as vibrant. Okay, let's ignore this for a little bit. The blues, something like this. Okay, maybe I do need to get the box of colors out. <laughs> maybe I can't just rely on this pile. <laughs> Let's ignore this bracelet for now. Let's do a different one because I know that there is the rainbow one and I'm pretty sure I can get strings for it here. Definitely the black string. There's another started one here. There's another one here, whatever. These are fine. Red, orange, or maybe this orange, yellow. See, a lot better now. Say that and now I can't find a green that I like. It's a nice blue and a nice purple. I just don't love the green. Oh, maybe this green. Yeah, that might work. All right, that's the colors for one of these at least. So the ladybug pattern obviously uses red and black so i can just use the red and black that i just used for that i don't need anything different oh i like this one nice blue back to these for a second i guess nice i think that's also nice yeah i think i can use these for the crystals on a black background and thankfully i've got lots of black string here that works all right two of these have got colors three of these have got colors picked out all right the bumblebee pattern i think that one's also white simple i'm probably going to be doing a keychain for this actually it won't even be full length at least that's my original thought. Got some white strings here. Oh, they attached to stuff. Oh, I think I was starting a tiny bracelet, but then decided not to. So I can use this string for scraps. Amazing. That's the white, that's the yellow. And I guess I just need a background color. This pink maybe? Yeah, I think that could work. Perfect. Maybe I can go through this entire list of patterns without having to pull out all my strings. <laughs> Let's see. What's this? I started a bracelet. I actually really like the colors of it. <sighs> for the life of me, I don't know what pattern this is. Let's play a game. 
So eight white strings and six color strings. So 14 total strings, two colors. Let's go into my to-dos and see if I can find a normal bracelet with 14 strings and two colors. Yep. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Literally one single pattern popped up. So I'm pretty sure this is the pattern that I was trying to make, which actually I think this is gonna look really good with that. Maybe I just make this one as well. <laughs> sure, why not? Forgot this existed, but here we are. Well, that's cool. I finished this with one more bracelet than I thought. <laughs> Got two bracelets left that I need colors for. Sometimes colors just like lay down together and I think they look cool. Like I feel like this would be an interesting color combination. I don't have any patterns planned for this, but you know, I just think it looks cool. Same with these. I think these look quite good together. So there was a color combination that I did. There was a color combination that I picked out forever ago for a pattern. And then I wanted to make it. I didn't even want to make it for a tutorial at the time. I just wanted to make it, but now I think it could be a good tutorial. And then when I sat down to make it, I realized that I have one fewer color than I'm supposed to. I was really annoyed, but now I can't remember what it was was like what the colors were so i'm gonna have to look through my own highlights on instagram to see if i posted about it did i post about it did i post about it is this the one i think this is the one yeah i think this is the one it was the 20th of january and it's now the 14th of april as i'm recording this but i'm pretty sure these are the colors that i was thinking about let's see if i can pick them out again thankfully whenever i post pictures like this i always try to do it in a way that the numbers of the string are visible so yay me <laughs> that i thought about that usually i do that for you but in this case it helped me do you know what, actually looking at them, I'm not sure that I like these colors anymore, but we're gonna try and pick them out anyway. If they're even in this pile, which they might not be. Yeah, I don't think they are. I'm gonna leave that for later and I'll pick it out from my actual pile of strings. So one more left, which is this one. One, two, three, four, five, and a background color. Okay, this could be a good stem color, I feel like. Or this even, I guess, depending on the vibe that we're going, but I think this works better for me. This could be a background color. I quite like it, but it can't be a background color unless I find more of this exact color, which I've been burned by before, where I think it's the same exact color, but it's like one slight shade different. Maybe I don't use this for a background color. Just get that from my pile. I actually think this is gonna be quite difficult because I don't know if I have those exact shades that I want. Yeah, I think this is, this is another pile one. All right, well, this is still a lot more successful than I thought it was gonna be. I have, what, four bracelets that I've picked colors out for, and then I randomly found a fifth bracelet that I didn't even think about. So there's two bracelets left that I need to actually do the colors for. Um, I'll do that on my own though. And I'll check in with you in a bit. And here are my new nails. You're gonna be seeing these in quite a few videos. I love how they turned out, nice little flowers. I finished my bracelet for the summer challenge and this is also a tutorial bracelet. I think the tutorial comes out the week before this vlog does, so it should be out already. I quite like it. This is one of those bracelets that I used to make like a million of back in the day. And also I was convinced that I already had a tutorial for it. I only realized that I didn't when someone asked for this tutorial and I went to look in my videos to link this person to the tutorial, but then I realized that I never made this tutorial, so I've made it now. And I'm filming a tutorial for this bracelet now, which is gonna be kind of like the daisy chain, but it's gonna be a chain with ladybugs instead. I'm very annoyed about this, however, because not only did I make a mistake while filming it, so I had to unknot a bunch of the ladybug and then refilm it, which was a pain to edit, by the way, <laughs> and also just annoying to film. I thought I was gonna make six knots for the kind of separators for the dividers. And so I made the loop on top in accordance to if I had made six knots. Then I realized that six knots was not enough. And I did eight knots. So now the loop is unproportional to that. And then also I started explaining it and I did it in the tutorial and then I have to go back and like voice over over it or something. I haven't figured that part out yet. I'll figure that out later. But the funny thing is like you would think I would make that mistake if that was the first time doing this bracelet, but it wasn't even the first time. I had already tried how to make this bracelet with a different color and I thought it looked fine and I didn't think about it. <laughs> I only made one, I guess, and I didn't realize that it would look weird. Anyway, I filmed that now, so that's coming at some point. And um, yeah, I'm making two of them at the moment, but because I have no chill, I think I'm actually gonna make five of them. <laughs> So that's what I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> In the meantime, I actually need to edit this tutorial because I haven't finished editing it yet. I do send it to Stefan um, to edit and he does the big bulk edit, but then I have to go over it and re-edit with adding all uh, the graphics to it, like the pattern, and then just in general check that he edited it correctly, which he usually does, but you know, here and there, I need to make some corrections. So I'll do that first, I think, and then go to bed because it's late.
my little ladybug bracelets are coming along beautifully. I still cannot believe I actually decided to make five of these at a time where I am preparing content for when I'm away and I'm bulk filming like crazy. Any other time, any other time would have been fine. Why do I do this to myself every time? But they are gorgeous and I hope you guys love them when you see the tutorial. Also, I completely forgot to show you guys my room. I mentioned at the beginning of this vlog that I would reorganize my room and I added a bunch of art to the walls and I also reorganized my shelves and I did a bunch of other stuff. So these are what my shelves look like currently. So these are all books that I've read. As always, I just reorganized the theme and only kept the books that I really, really loved on this shelf with some very minor exceptions because I needed something to fill in. That being the spear that cuts through water, I didn't really love that one. And then also the Atlas Six, I didn't love that one either. Oh, and also the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I didn't love books three, four, and five of that. Loved everything else though. <laughs> But yeah, I reorganized these. I put my favorite, favorite books that I have in like nice editions face first. The Day of Fallen Night I actually have signed, which is really exciting. So this is what this looks like currently. And I added some art to the walls. We've got this beautiful little frog that looks at me while I do any work at my desk. I just think he looks so nice and polite. I don't know, very cute. I love it. And then over my bed, we have some prints with cats, of course, as well as some beautiful like collage pieces. I think I want to add more stuff here. In fact, I actually do have other art pieces that I might add here. I just need to get frames for them. So this might change in the future, but this is what it currently looks like. And then at the back, we have my little reading corner and we have one piece here as well, which is kind of whimsical and reminds me of, I don't know, like fairy tale vibes. And so I thought it would be good for the reading corner. But yeah, that's what my, what my room looks like right now. And then remember that bundle of strings that I found that I couldn't remember the pattern number for? Well, I started it. I haven't made a bracelet with a teardrop loop in so, so long. So I'm actually very happy with it. And I love how the colors are here. I'm excited to do this one. I'm not filming this for anything. This is something that I'm doing for myself. I might take it with me on the trips just so that I have something to knot while I'm away. And I love it. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Lots and lots of knotting. I've got all of this mess of strings. I'm still gonna be doing a bunch of pre-filming for my trip, but I think I'm gonna not vlog that to make it a bit easier for myself. But anyway, as always, I hope you enjoyed today's video. The tutorial for this bracelet is gonna be the next thing that I post. So look out for that. That's gonna be very exciting. I hope you guys are having a good time. A special shout out to my patrons as always. Thank you so, so much for supporting my content. And if you also want to support the work that I do here, the link to my Patreon is in the description. In fact, this is actually for the Patreon only but with Masha Summer Challenge. So if you want to become a patron and join, we're doing a summer challenge over there where we're doing like bug related bracelets. And I'm doing another one for that later on as well. But in any case, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.